and you hear about it all the time but when it actually happens to you and it's somebody you know the first thing you think is how could you and especially when you know the person and you know what their attitude is and that they're more than caring for everybody around them and the first person you can call if you need help and then you you realize that you never knew they were hurting that bad and it's it's not something easy to go through and we were good friends in high school and knowing that I had to come back to work and realize that I wouldn't be able to talk to him or see how he's doing, check in on him. And all those memories that I had from high school are gonna be followed up with the fact that I, I lost him to suicide. It's something that I'm gonna always have to deal with, put the good memories with that memory. For those who've gone through and experienced losing somebody to suicide, I know that they're more aware of suicide prevention. But the biggest message that I can send is that don't wait for that point. Don't wait till you lose to somebody to suicide to start paying attention to the signs, to start paying attention to the, the training. I will be perfectly honest, losing somebody to suicide is something I wouldn't wish on anybody. And it's something that is completely preventable. Take the training that the Army teaches you and use it because you can use it to save a life.